Hi guys, it's John here. It is Saturday, October 9th, 2021. So what I want to talk about today is this awareness that I've had for me recently, because there's been this phenomenon that I've seen occurring repeatedly uh, in my little corner of the universe. And that is, um, I will have ideas and things that come to me and then within very short order I will see or hear other people discussing the same things the same topics often with remarkable precision at least in terms of the content by they I mean other readers and psychics and channels they will be talking about the same things that I had intended to talk about and it's quite remarkable like I said before I have I have uh, Jupiter and Pisces in the 12th so one of my strengths, if you can call it that, is being able to be tapped into uh, the collective consciousness. But there's something more going on here because I've always had that. Um, I have said before, and I, and I don't want this to sound sort of egocentric, but I have for many years been a real barometer of what the future holds. So, and, and there's been just countless examples of that in my life. So often kind of things that I'm thinking about or contemplating about come into the mainstream six, eight, ten years out. So this is different. What I'm about to describe is a bit different because it's occurring much more rapidly. So I've had this a real awareness that I am kind of plugged in to the collective consciousness or collective awareness. But the time span for that is really fast, at least on the smaller kind of day-to-day -day kind of thoughts that come and go or issues that arise that... I might want to talk about for example so then i contemplated that i i thought about that f for a while and and then i had this awareness that what's going on is in fact part of this shift into the aquarian age now the Aqu aquarian energy of course is i'm sure most people who have some level of understanding about astrology uh represents the collective and what I'm about to propose, I think is profoundly significant. And I haven't actually, I'm sure it's been discussed, but I haven't come across it myself uh, in, as, in this specific a way that I'm about to describe. But what I think is going on is, is that we are kind of waking up on a collective level to how interconnected we are on the mental plane and on the psychic plane such that uh the connection as the and this is not surprising because we, we we understand that the veils are thinning that's quite evident so that's quite self-evident and uh, so we are connected now psychically and on the mental plane in in a way that we were never before at least for many thousands of years if ever so thinking having been contemplating that for a while it kind of makes me think that we are going to be sharing thoughts and ideas and the on the collective level of our consciousness that are going to be flying around at light speed and that we will all individually be kind of connected to that so that we will have this much stronger and direct connection to the global consciousness or global awareness of humanity and as well as other beings that are non-human um, in a remarkable way that we've probably never before experienced because that's what I think is happening to me um, I even for a brief period of time I was kind of going like okay am I being paranoid like are people tapping into my thoughts <laughs> like somehow you know or I'm not sure why anyone would, would do that but then as I thought about it more I'm like no this is actually symptomatic of this shift into the age of Aquarius that uh, we're also interested in, and me in particular. So think about that for a minute. Um, you know, we use all these platforms and, and methods and uh, technologies for communicating, smartphones, uh, um, you know, computers, the internet, uh, and everything's happening really fast and in real time, like, you know, something happens in, I don't know, Turkey, you know, we find out like, you know, within minutes kind of thing. It's like, we're, it's part of our, part of our awareness. Um, uh, but that's sort of on a very practical level. Um, and as I've argued in my uh, episode, I did about the Aquarian age is happening now, um, that this 
level of connectedness and this immediacy of connectedness and the breadth of it, the fact that it's global, is symptomatic of the Aquarian age. But what I'm suggesting is another layer to that that's even more significant, which is that we will be consciously, or we, can, we could be consciously, or we will certainly be sort of unconsciously connected to the global consciousness, like I said, in ways that we have never done before. And that has profound implications. That means that I can be connected to somebody sort of psychically uh, anywhere at any time. And I would suspect that at some point in time down the road, we'll be doing that consciously. And it'll happen at light speed. Now, the, the thing about being psychically connected like that is, is that what gets conveyed isn't just words. It is feelings and impressions. It could be images. It could be all kinds of things that would are almost impossible to convey with sort of traditional forms of media like uh, video and audio and things like that, right? Um, because we can feel what somebody else is feeling. So this would open up a completely different dimension of communication and connectivity that humanity has never before experienced. Now, I might take that a step further and say that if my, my theory is correct, that one of the reasons that people are kind of like freaking out and going crazy all around the world right now because because they definitely are there's all kinds of people who are like completely like in alternate realities that aren't based on evidence that's a whole separate uh, discussion but whether people are conscious of it or not they are connecting to and getting information and impressions from the collective all the time probably now people who are more practiced or experienced with these kinds of phenomenon are probably feeling this in ways that's different from somebody who isn't. But this is something really interesting to think about and consider that we're going to have this almost like uh, instantaneous level of kind of communication and connection with, you know, billions of other human beings on this planet on some level. I have had numerous experiences with uh, where I have, uh, sort of psychic type experiences that weren't um, premeditated. They just occurred uh, spor sporadically or spontaneously uh, with various people. Or some people who I have connected with or communicated with, uh, you know, in one way or another, but never actually met in person. Um, and I've had that happening fairly frequently recently, and sometimes in quite deep and profound ways, uh, to the point where I would hesitate, and I do and have so far, I would hesitate to express this to those people because they would they might think I'm being crazy or creepy. But I have connected with people, like I said, in some very deep ways and meaningful ways that uh, has been surprising because I've had that kind of an that kind of experience before, but not so frequently and not with so much with people who I, I really have only had very minimal kind of communication with. You know, sometimes you, you see somebody or you hear somebody feeling, speaking and, or whatever, you know, you follow somebody on YouTube or whatever the case may be, and you get an impression of them, like, like I get sometimes get this impression that we're part of the same soul group or that we're sort of on the same team, that we're both here, uh, you know, that we know each other. Oh, I'm getting chills here saying this, holy smokes. Wow. Okay. So this is true. Um, wow. <laughs> okay. So we on a soul level or on a higher higher self level we're connected we're part of the t the, the beings that came here to help trans earth make help earth make this transition into the the new age or the aquarian age um and so even if um we don't necessarily intellectually recognize that um that can be true and it doesn't matter where those people are they could be interspersed all around the planet um i definitely have had that feeling and experience uh, recently. I had an experience in a dream with somebody and it was quite surprising because I'm kind of like, what are you doing here? Because, <laughs> you know, this is somebody I recognize from social media, but this person probably has no idea whatsoever who I am. But I had a very deep kind of soul level, soulful connection with this person. And the dream was very meaningful in me because it shed, it, it shed light or enlightenment on some areas of my life that when I woke up, I was like, whoa, okay, that was, um, that exchange on that level with this other person uh, was extremely beneficial and helpful to me. It made me become aware of some things 
uh, in my own, some of my own sort of shadow work or some things that I have to heal or some truths about who I am. And so it was fascinating. It was just, I, of course I journal a lot. So I wrote down the dream in, in quite, in quite a bit of detail. Uh, but the connection that I felt with that per first person was re really beautiful. Like, like an old, like you would have with somebody, an old, old friend, you know, there's, there's probably, we've all had uh, one or two people in our lives who we really feel that we do not need to censor ourselves around or that we can just completely be ourselves with them and they're not going to judge us or they're, they're, they're responding to us on a very deep level. And that's what this exchange felt like. Um, and uh, so I think that those of us who say, for example, we might term ourselves light workers, uh, we're very connected and we're all do, you know, we all express what we're expressing and, in our own unique ways and to our own unique audiences and so forth but we're part of the same team now how this might man how what i'm describing might manifest more for people who are sort of living more on kind of consensus reality i don't really know but i think as the veils thin they are going to be starting to receive impressions like what i'm describing and how they respond to that i do not know it's possible they'll th start thinking that they're crazy it's possible that they'll start looking for other people out there who can relate to what they're experiencing and so forth but the thinning of the veils isn't just occurring for us individually it's it's occurring for us collectively now um, and we've been witnessing that in in our ability and the frequency with which we connect to spirit or non-material or non-incarnated beings that's all over the place but how we connect to each other in during this process this is like really fascinating and to me it has really really profound implications for humanity i mean you know our we are very very powerful beings and uh more chills and um we are like light years more advanced than any kind of technology that human beings could devise like i'm th thinking of computer technology you know so that a bunch of computers are going to like outthink or outsmart or outmaneuver hu a human being it, who's who's manifesting their full potential. Well, that's just absurd because we're multi-dimensional beings. <laughs> you know, computers are just material objects. So I'm putting this out there because I haven't really seen anybody else talk about it. Now, how could you facilitate this? I think first of all, open your mind to the possibility that what I'm saying is true. I mean, you know, there might be people who are like, I don't want to be bombarded with like billions of people's thoughts and stuff. Well, I'm, I don't think that's what's going to happen because I, I think that for the most part, you know, you're going to connect with those beings who, who have something um, of value to offer you on whatever level. Like I said, for me, my experience uh, uh, of recent has been kind of uh, spontaneous and definitely not uh, intentional. It's just been happening. And I have had relationships in the past where I had a telepathic link with people where uh, I knew what they were thinking, feeling, expressing, and so forth. And so I know that that's possible, but it's never happened outside of, say, a close, intimate relationship or friendship. Uh, and what I'm describing is takes us to a whole different level. So there's some food for thought. The veils aren't just thinning between us and spirit or the other dimensions. The veils are also thinning between us and other people as individuals, as well as the collective of humanity, which is us as a whole. And if you think about the implications of this for humanity, for society, for the planet, this is like, just has stunning and staggering implications that in addition to our own consciousness we will also be tapped into the consciousness of humanity as a whole as well as spirit this is like literally multi-dimensional we're going from 3d into whatever 4d 5d <laughs> and that's how part of how it's going to manifest is by us having levels of awareness that we could couldn't even conceive of before that's my theory based on what i've been experiencing and perceiving 
All right, that's all for now. And uh, thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. And uh, I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.